When I was a kid, my family and I would always make quite the spectacle for Christmas. My mom and dad, as I was the only child, would get a large Christmas tree, set it directly in the living room, and fill it with the presents. Now, every Christmas dad would pull the same tree out from our basement, and I never went down there as a kid, because it always frightened me. It was so dark and creepy down there. Yet, that's only half of what ruined Christmas for me. There I was, sleeping in my bed on the eve of Christmas, drawing closer to the time where I would be able to unwrap my presents. Next to my bed sat a clock. I watched it eagerly, and as the time of 12 a.m. Christmas morning came, I was illuminated with joy and excitement. My mom had told me not to unwrap the presents until the next day, and I believe I had honored that request as I stamped down the steps, only to pause halfway down. What appeared to be a figure slipping by the presents, I later noticed to be Santa. He was reading something. No doubt the letter I had left out for him, as I quickly turned to glance at the kitchen counter, where I saw that the cookies I had left out for him had been eaten. I grew even more excited as Santa let out a jolly laugh and a ho ho ho. I ran behind him and hugged him. Santa turned to face me and told me to keep being a good boy as he thanked me for the cookies. He then told me to head back upstairs as he hadn't finished gift giving. I relented until suddenly he began to burp and act strangely. Santa, I uttered, as he then collapsed on the floor. The noise alerted my family, who came running downstairs. They were shocked to learn of an intruder had dressed as Santa and broken into our home. They didn't blame me, as I was too young to know what was going on, but police discovered that he had entered through the basement and perhaps wanted to steal our gifts. My family and the police were grateful, though, that he didn't harm me. But no one wondered why Santa collapsed until later it was discovered to be a combination of things, drugs and rat poisoning. See, as I said before, this ruined Christmas for me as I put that quaint little concoction in those cookies, believing the father that I disdained so dearly would eat them and be out of me and my mom's life. I've never tried to off him again, but this Christmas was reinvigorating upon learning that the father of mine had died in an unfortunate car accident with the car that I had just bought him for Christmas. Merry Christmas.